Hey fellas, me Trepper here. And today I am very pleased to announce new Meat Trapper knives are now in stock. Now most people uh, that have watched my channel are familiar with the Meat Trapper Skinner. Uh, this was the first knife that I offered. Uh, it's based on uh, the Canadian pattern and this is a superb skinning knife. And of course it has the ultimate ergonomic handle uh, that I designed. And this just fits your hand like a glove. Now I've made um, extensive videos on the design of this knife, the design of the handle, and everything else. But what I'm here to announce is the addition of two new patterns to the line. Uh, I'm now offering a traditional drop point blade with the same handle and also a boning knife. So let me show you one right quick. Now this particular blade is my boning knife. And you can see this has got a little bit longer blade a little bit narrower blade. Uh, it's still got the meat trapper handle on it. This one happens to be elk antler. We offer them in a variety of materials. But I designed this knife to, number one, be a boning knife, but also to be a, what I call a hard use fillet knife on fish like carp, uh, gar, or anything else where you really need uh, some torque and you really need to get in there uh, through some tough stuff. So this, is the boning knife pattern right here. These are made out of L6 steel just like everything else. So I am really excited about this. It really gives you some reach to get in and separate the meat from the bone or get in on those tough fish where you need a, a little bit more narrower blade. So let me show you the drop point because I'm really excited about the drop point pattern as well. Now this is the Meat Trapper drop point. You can see this has got about a four and a half inch blade, L6 tool steel. This one is in caribou bone on the handle. It comes with mosaic pins. They all come with a kydex neck sheath, um, and I'll do a little bit more about that in a second. But to me, this is just a great all around general purpose outdoor knife. Uh, we've been using this on turtles, frogs, deer, small game, uh, you name it. Just, uh, just a fabulous, um, fabulous blade. Uh, it's really tough. We've been beating the snot out of it, and I am really impressed with this pattern. So let's uh, take a look at each one in a little bit more detailed perspective. Now this Canadian-inspired Skinner has an overall length of eight and one half inches with a four-inch blade, and this comes with a Kydex neck sheath and features an orange Osage handle. Next is the drop point blade. This one features a caribou bone handle. It has an overall length of eight inches and it sports a three and a half inch razor sharp blade. We also have the same blade pattern in a beautiful, absolutely beautiful maple burl handle. Just a, just a magnificent piece. Now the boning knives feature a 9 inch overall length with a 4 and 1 quarter inch L6 tool steel blade. We also feature the same blade pattern in a traditional elk antler handle, of course with mosaic pins. Each blade comes standard with a kydex neck sheath but every sheath is compatible with the tech lock system. This allows you to wear this on your belt when horizontal or vertical carry. If you prefer a leather sheath, that is available as an option. So whether you're interested in the traditional meat trapper skinner that's based on the Canadian pattern, the new four and a half inch drop point, or the boning knife or stiff fillet knife, all of these knives are made with L6 tool steel. They come absolutely razor sharp. They all have the ergonomic handle and everybody that picks these blades up, the first thing they tell me is it feels like it was made to fit my hand. And that's because it was. Uh, these knives are made by Muskrat Man Knives. He does incredible work and I'm very proud to put my name on them and offer them to you. If you're interested in learning more, you can go to meattrapper.com, click on Available Knives, and you can see what we have in stock at any given time. If you have any questions at all about them or you need more information, feel free to contact me, meattrapper at gmail.com, or you can look me up on Facebook and 
like the Meat Trapper page. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.